Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to give the address to the Haggis tonight. Uh, this was one of Robert Burns' uh, more uh, humorous poems. And uh, the Haggis, of course, was a meal for the poor folk. Anyway, Burns' address to the Haggis. Fair for your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain of the Britain race. Have in the maw you tack your place, pinch, tripe, or theorm. Weel are you worthy of grace, as lines my arm. The groaning trencher there you fill, your heart beats like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the juice distill like amber beat. His knife, say rustic labour dicked, and cut you up already slicked. Trenching your gushing entrails, brick the sunny ditch, and then oh, what a glorious sight! Warm reeking, rich, then horn for horn they stretch and strive, deal tack the hindmost on they drive, the lull their wheels while kites belive are bent like drums, and all good man may slight drive be thank it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragout, or oleo that would stow a sou, or fricassee would mack or spew a perfect scunner, looks down with sneer and scornful view and sits a dinner, poor devil. See him out his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank a good whip lash, his neave a knit, through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how unfit. But mark the rustic, haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clap in his woolly neave a blad, he'll make it whistle, legs and arms and heats for stead like taps and thistle. Ye powers that make mankind your care, and dish about his bill of hair. All Scotland wants these skink and wear at jobs and luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, gear her a haggis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please charge your glasses and be upstanding to join me in the toast?